Mr. Hamry. <clears throat> okay, so let's start off with the JFK PTO activities. Uh, PTO meeting is happening tomorrow via Teams at 6.30 p.m. And you can find the uh, information for that PTO meeting at the JFK's Facebook page or by emailing JFK Middle School PTO at gmail.com. Uh, winter band concert is happening this Thursday in the auditorium at JFK, and that's uh, at 6.30 p.m. Uh, looking forward to that myself. Uh, term number two progress reports are available coming up this Friday, December 16th. Next Wednesday, December 21st, it's a fundraiser dinner at the Red Robin. Uh, we've all been to a Red Robin fundraiser, so I'm pretty sure that's a, a standard process, and uh, it usually gets some good results for the uh, organization raising the funds, uh, but there will be more details to follow on that. And I just want to pass out a thank you to uh, Leslie, the PTO president, Dr. Barrios, and everybody that's making that PTO run so smoothly and effectively for the uh, benefit of the entire school, particularly given the uh, challenges that they've had during uh, the last few years, as uh, we've just heard about earlier. Um, a couple of things uh, I was able to attend recently. I, I've been in uh, events at uh, the at the Fermi Annex, uh, excuse me, Enfield Annex, at the uh, JFK Auditorium at Enfield Highs Auditorium, and um, it's amazing. I was going to put this under the category of the ECAC later on, but this is uh, more relevant to the incredible talent that we have within this district in the arts, uh, music, and um, band arts. So shout out to everybody involved in the Enfield High Chorus and Orchestra Winter Concert. They did a fantastic performance. Uh, the Enfield Community Chorus that uh, had a, uh, a um, show last uh, so Saturday and Sunday, December 3rd and 4th. Uh, I was unable to attend another uh, event on the 4th because that one uh, coincided with, uh, and I'll talk about that in the CAC uh, comments. Um, but the uh, Enfield Community uh, Band concert was last night, uh, December 12th, at, uh, JF, um, at the JFK Auditorium, and it was absolutely amazing. It's worth noting that uh, among the community uh, concert band that ranges from uh, young high school to senior citizen range, there were, I believe, at least eight different students from Enfield High and JFK that were participating in it. I might be wrong about uh, the numbers or the uh, schools that they represent, but we do in fact have students that are represented and playing alongside uh, town residents that just want to get out there and perform. And they did an amazing job. It was so exciting. Um, to that point, I want to uh, thank uh, one of our school parents that uh, has students at both uh, JFK and Enfield High, uh, Eric Griffin. He's given me a lot of information over the last couple of uh, weeks since our last meeting, particularly about a program that I was not aware of earlier. Very excited to know about the uh, United Sound program. Uh, and this is a, a shame on me for not paying attention to my own child who was part of that process to bring this uh, thing to life last year while she was a student at Enfield High. Um, to those that are not familiar, the United Sound program is the high school students teaching special needs students how to read music, how to play their instruments, and are performing <clears throat> together with them. And um, I do, again, I apologize that I was not aware of this prior to uh, Eric reaching out to me, uh, but it is a new program this year. Uh, and um, Mrs. Shell, the uh, music director at Enfield High, is the one uh, bringing that together. Uh, Eric has promised me to connect the dots so that I can get in on that and uh, at least maybe visit and watch uh, 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 um, practices or maybe the performances when they are uh, available. Um, so again, thank you to Eric on that one. And kudos to his, uh, his daughter, Harley, who is one of those that are teaching the students. So she's uh, not only playing the music and enjoying that, but she's helping teach uh, the special needs students the uh, instruments and how to uh, read the music. Uh, Dr. Callan has given me quite a lot to, to uh, comment on because he had so many good things to talk about there. And kudos to the uh, district for the NIAC accreditation. Uh, I've been through accreditation process in the uh, previous roles in my uh, my own career, and it's a daunting process. Lots of paperwork, lots of coordination of uh, organiza uh, departments and such. So to achieve accreditation at and at the level that they did, that really is remarkable. So kudos to everybody involved that made that possible. Um, 
to that point, and uh, someone, I apologize, someone mentioned the career review process, uh, um, excuse me, the curriculum review process. It was during the comments earlier about uh, curriculum that uh, as I got to sit in the, uh, these meetings, uh, it's, it's remarkable to see the way these courses and the classes are being uh, developed to uh, reflect the, moment, the uh, motto of this district and to adjust for the changing times. I believe that's a, uh, a commendable uh, ongoing effort to bring out the best in uh, our uh, teachers so that they can uh, give our students the best footing possible to achieve everything that they want to achieve. So again, kudos to the curriculum process because uh, seeing the, uh, the level of expertise that comes out in those uh, conversations among the uh, educators that are uh, explaining to us the process, it's really uh, eye-opening. Um, one thing that uh, Dr. Kalanick did mention is the uh, uh, housing concerns at the Head Start level. It is no lie, no joke, and uh, as I mentioned in past comments, I am a uh, uh, immediate a frontline worker with the homeless population. Uh, it is a real factor that uh, affects this town in a profound way at all generational levels. So to have that be being noted by Dr. Callanan at the Head Start level, uh, I assure you it's happening at every level in the schools, though I'm, I'm obviously not at, uh, at liberty to, to speak to any particular instances. Um, it's not a good time of year to be without shelter. And uh, the resources that uh, were there in the past couple of years due to the COVID funding is not there this year. The uh, people that you see outside are legit in most cases and um, it's it, it's good to know that uh, we do have the warming center open for those that are in need and uh, kudos to monica and the, the uh, volunteers that help maintain the warming center for those in need at saint patrick's uh, basement uh, open 7 p.m to 7 a.m that uh, for those that are in need of those services uh, kudos to everybody at the uh, food and uh, soup kitchen at uh, loaves and fishes to the uh, programs that they run there to the uh, exciting benefit that they had over the weekend, the first ever uh, talent show that benefited both the Opera House players and uh, the, the uh, loaves and fishes. And I'll save the rest of it for the uh, ECAC comments. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Henry.